Hey guys, so I wanted to go with a slightly different approach today. So I'm outdoors where I should, there is my target and on the other side of that house is where I, uh, uh, where I shoot from. Uh, I have here Huben K1 22 caliber and this is the special edition version, the Woodstock. So if you watched my first video, in that one I presented uh, what is different and uh, one of the main differences was actually uh, that uh, of course the wood is <laughs> one big difference and the carbon fiber, fiber shroud but one of the other main differences is the fact that this one is using now a different barrel which is uh, not German made so it's not Lothar Walter it's Chinese um, uh, I also mentioned some other things like uh, for example that it has vents for the shroud here instead of the front the shroud is carbon fiber the tank is still titanium but it has a, a carbon fiber wrap around it and of course the wood which is really 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 beautiful to me and uh, yeah that's about it so there are some minor changes which I will probably talk in one of the future videos regarding how uh, the gun is built. Some of them are, for example, the valve is slightly smaller. The um, regulator now doesn't use um, O-ring but it has a plastic ring which reduces the friction and that's, that's my assumption. And some other minor things. Uh, I would say that the gun really performs well. I mean everything just works as it has to. The regulator works really nice. I must say that I'm really happy with the rag. It has minimum creep uh, and it's uh, really fast and it really holds the pressure steady regardless of the uh, high pressure in the front of the tank. Uh, of course this one also has the gauge in front uh, and the fill port is here so you just pull this and then you access the fill port. Uh, unlike the plastic version this one has one screw here to fix the uh, stock on it and of course uh, at the same time as same as on the plastic version on the rear side uh, the power wheel is actually also what's uh, keeping the stock on the gun under the main wheel of course. So. Um, you already know all this, you've probably seen a lot of my videos. Uh, today I'm mainly going to talk about accuracy uh, and uh, I'm doing this outdoors because it's a really nice but cold day. <laughs> it's uh, sunny but otherwise quite cold and uh, uh, I decided to make as much accuracy test as possible. I went through pellets, through slugs. Um, I've emphasized on slugs more, definitely more than pellets since this gun is has the power capacity to shoot slugs and also slugs are really popular these days which uh, kind, I can definitely understand. So yeah, I went in these tests with slight skepticism. Uh, as you will hear me speak in the, at the end as well when I show you the targets. Uh, the barrel, when you look at it, is not as well made as Lothar Walter. Uh, by that I mean aesthetically. Uh, you can see that the, it's not perfect inside, it's not perfect outside. And with that, you know, you usually think uh, it has to be perfect in order to shoot well. But boy, was I surprised. I must say, in r short, short explanation, I would say that this is the best shooting K1 from the from the stock setting stock. I mean, of course, I said the pressure and the uh, power wheel, but uh, nothing, nothing is changed. This is the gun as it comes, and it shoots exceptionally well. Now there are uh, it, the the barrel, you could say the gun or the barrel is pellet picky still, and um, not really pellet picky, but uh, projectile picky, I would say, because it does not like like all slugs, which is to be expected, because especially when you come to slugs, you tend to see more of that pickiness, let's say. Uh, but overall, I must say I'm really, really, really surprised. And uh, uh, I will just give you a brief uh, uh, explanation regarding what it likes and it, what it doesn't. And then 
uh, we will go to the groups themselves. There is really a lot of groups, so hopefully this will, video will, will not be too long, but it probably will be, like, like it's always with me. Okay, so, uh, first I tested with uh, the JSB Monster Redesign. Now this is add gun packing, but in, this is in fact uh, standard uh, JSB Monster Redesign palette. And I have them marked because uh, if you have been following my other videos, also not only uh, for, uh, for Huben, but also for uh, uh, Prophet or Priest, you might have noticed that I've been talking that the pellets are, uh, are quite different. So the new one and old ones and different batches are actually really different. And I'm sad to say that the new ones are from what I was told that the, the new ones are are actually much worse than the old ones and uh, I will just briefly go into this and uh, explain to you what is exactly to be uh, seen that it's different so first thing is the depth of the skirt so the shallow skirt it's roughly 1.4 millimeter is the old one and that is the better one I will also uh, show you a picture of this so you can see also the head size is slightly bigger on the old ones so the good ones are the old ones as i mentioned and also the waist size is slightly smaller than on the new ones so if we compare to the new ones again you will have this on the picture the skirt is roughly 0 0.7 millimeter deeper than on the old ones the waist is slightly slightly bigger and the head is slightly smaller and in my test in all guns up up until now the old, new ones are actually worse than the old ones and i hate that and we wrote uh, to jsb uh, uh, i talked to rti and rti wrote to jsb and uh, we did not get a direct response only that these are the new ones and that's it yeah in any case both of these pellets actually work really well just that with the new ones you will get more flyers that's that's about it in average i would say that um, you should shoot these at around 900 maybe slightly over 900 feet per second with a regulator set to let's say 130 140 150 bars anything from in that uh, range is okay uh, as long as you have the power wheel then accordingly set to that and these shoot really really good in this gun and I'm really happy about that and uh, in terms of pellets that's it I did not go any further because again I think that this gun is more uh, more emphasized and more focused on slugs in any case but uh, I think that these are the best choice uh, for this gun and you will not be disappointed with the accuracy moving on so uh, this is something that uh, I expected. I expected that these, so these are the standard uh, original um, original uh, uh, Huben's slugs. Um, I expected those to work, work really well and I was disappointed. And this is where I thought that I, the, the barrel will not shoot well any slugs and these do not work that well they are okay but really not as good as they were in the old, older barrel and uh, with those come also my slugs which is from the mold version 2 from mp molds so uh, these also unfortunately don't work well uh, so that's too bad but luckily we have something to be happy about and that is the fact that I actually made a third version of the mold so this is the newest version the third version and I never released it of course MP molds would be the one that is producing that mold but I decided not to go out with uh, this mold simply because I didn't get good enough results uh, with it but uh, I tested it in this gun now and I couldn't believe it it's just this is the, probably the best groups I ever got with the gun that with cast slugs of course sized but still cast slugs and combination with Huben so I 
it's the groups are excellent the power is excellent the efficiency is excellent these are really heavy otherwise by the way so um even though I say efficiency is excellent, you have to keep in mind that pushing so such a heavy projectile so fast will require uh, quite a bit uh, of air. So I would say that uh, if you fill it to let's say 260, 70 bars, you will get one magazine and a half uh, with over 100 joules of course uh, with those but the accuracy is just amazing and I, it, I even didn't f uh, focus yet today on the actual pressure settings actual power wheel settings like anything like this I just shot those at 930 feet per second and I'm really happy about that so uh, saying that uh, check out the video of course and uh, please let me know in the comments if you would be interesting in uh, MP Molds actually releasing this mode if you would be interested then I will talk to MP Molds and uh, have them release this mode because as I mentioned we haven't done it until now uh, but uh, we can if there is an interest uh, let me just say again I, this is in the new guns with the Chinese barrel that these slugs work well in the older ones I did not find them to work that well the uh, version 2 is better than version 3 so if we go back the version 2 is the one that with the boat tail so this works best in the previous version of K1s which is with Lothar Walter barrel and version 3 would be the new ones which is not released yet and this is the flat tail and three uh, rings uh, version and these are heavier these are uh, roughly 39 grains um, and uh, these are actually good on the in the new Chinese version barrel uh, K1s and we also have a f winner by far in terms of accuracy and that is the Altaros slug which is interestingly a copy of the slug from uh, Huben so it's actually the same roughly the same as my slug uh, from version 2 but actually this one works by far the best from ev everything I've tested in this group and it's just excellent and uh, this is uh, uh, this is special uh, sp special type of making uh, of these slugs so it's not cast and it's not swaged it's actually uh, turned so it's made on a sort of a lathe I guess so the precision of this making is actually excellent and the size of those are 5.56 millimeters <coughs> they have three rings uh, all the same size actually there it's four if you count the head in the front and they are 35.3 grain which is just the right uh, weight you will use a lot less air than with uh, version 3 of my uh, my uh, mold uh, casted slugs and uh, I, I, I will probably uh, in one of the videos measure the BCs of those but it is my assumption that the, they will be roughly the same because these are flat tails and these are bow tails and bow tails of course are usually always not usually better in terms of BC but they are lighter as well so in terms of long range they make they might make more sense uh, okay so these are let's say best picks so I know that a lot of you are also hunters out there and uh, for that reason you will need some sort of a slug that uh, will uh, has a hollow point uh, unfortunately none of the slugs I've tested in terms of regular uh, shape slugs for air guns which is considered regular I guess did not perform that well uh, best perform 25 and 23 grain 25.5 and 23 grain from uh, Jean slugs or Zan slugs um, but still the accuracy is nowhere near uh, what Altaros or my uh, casted uh, slugs uh, were uh, unfortunately and this is kind of the pattern I'm seeing 
at all times i never ever have actually exceptional good results with this and which is quite a shame because this have lately become i'm not just talking about jsb of course i'm just showing a jsb but any kind of uh, this uh, shape slug uh, and these have become a norm in the industry as an ergon uh, slug, which is, I guess, okay, but uh, I have yet to see a gun that would shoot uh, these shaped slugs better than it would shoot these type slugs. And uh, I'm not sure if it has to do with lead hardness because there's, these are usually totally pure lead and these do have additives. This is, I believe, 1% antimon and this is 1 to 10 ratio uh, linotype to, so lead to, uh, yeah, linotype to lead, uh, which is roughly the same as 1.5% antimon in terms of hardness. So it's not that hard, but it's harder. And those, of course, have the rings which reduce friction which is actually a really nice feature to me and i wish that uh, there were actually some manufacturer which would produce uh, with swaging procedure uh, uh, slugs with rings that would really really be ideal in my opinion but the industry doesn't seem to go that way so this is uh, what I have to say about K1 and accuracy, check out the group's videos, you will definitely uh, learn more from them than from me talking. Uh, again, I'm really surprised and really happy. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, check the videos out and uh, I will also have uh, one more monologue in the end. Thanks guys.